Um, hello friends today I'm going to show you how to solve this boot manager is missing uh, press control or delete to restart so today this problem is occurred to my desktop I researched many website or many sites but after that I solved my problem because most of the YouTube videos are not working they are just uh, giving me suggestions to reinstall your windows so I don't want to reinstall so I solved my problems without reinstalling the windows and get my windows back without any problem so friend try this and follow my steps what you have to do for the first time that uh, first step is you have to make sure that you have unplugged all your uh, external hard disk here is as you can see my is only this SATA port is connected to the SSD and here Windows install in my PC and another there is a hard disk in our my PC but I have already unplugged this one as you can see my already SATA port is already disconnected so make sure you have to uh, disconnect your hard disk from your uh, uh, PC then you have to uh, then you have to make sure that only the SSD or hard disk which contain the windows only that will connected to the SATA port and SATA power okay so this is the first step so follow my second step so friends uh, first you have to go to the bios features so a uh, bios feature in the bios feature as you can see here is the option uh, first option boot option one it is windows boot manager you have to select this one okay uh, okay then uh, select this one and then uh, you have to boot second option my second option is as you can see it is my Corsair force a uh, Corsair SSD card it is selected so another option you have to go to that make sure that as you can see I have already told you that you have to make sure your all hard disk are unplugged you only the hard disk which contains see so as you can see boot option is only so uh, you have to make sure this one and then you have to go to another option uh, here is a, here is the main part as you can see there is an option uh, SATA mode selection SATA mode selection is the one of the most important part uh, most of the time it is selected AHCI you have to select it first ADI okay so um, ADI should be selected okay then what you have to do uh, like save and exit uh, as you can see I have uh, save and exit okay so uh, after that you have to wait uh, then your windows will be uh, coming without any kinds of problem so here it is restarting so as you can see windows is starting right now so you don't need to reinstall or any kind of uh, making other uh, other qualities in your PC so you don't need to worry about it. you have to reinstall your windows again and again or formatting look, look my any data is not not all nothing is lost in my PC my windows is as look like as before so it's follow my steps uh, so that will be help for you okay friends uh, first of all I have to say uh, subscribe my channel and give a like button in my give a like button in my video thanks all